Welcome back to Enslaved Odyssey to the West. We're gonna try to catch up with Trip. Oh, <laughs> what a beautiful lookout. A little sun umbrella, a table, and a beat up old couch. What a view. What's up here? Bonuses? Is that a memory of this place? Like it was a park or something before? The memories do seem to be localized to the area where you picked them up. Wait a second, what's up here? Where am I supposed to go? I think I'm supposed to go here. back together? Can I give you commands, or... No? Crap. Alright, so no decoy then. Yeah. got so many points to spend. That trip's pretty far away. Okay, how do I get up there? Oh, I need to get up on this building. Dang, two hits to blow him up. That's really powerful. Triplets, you have to snap out of this. Can't you hear me?
Okay, so it looks like my staff stays charged. I can see it's still glowing. So I can unleash that any moment that I want. Oh, they've got a shield up. Just take him out of the picture. my gun. Okay, how do I get a vantage point on that? Oh, from up there, probably. There, there, there. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, I can hit the barricade from up here. I don't, think, I don't think there's anyone around to blow up. Just stay exactly where you are. I'm coming to get you. Yeah, um, I, so I think I just discovered something. Remember a long time ago? I think it was one of the first skills I got was the, uh, the block attack thing where, like, if you block an attack, you're supposed to be able to do a, a special move. When your staff, like, when you successfully block an attack, you're supposed to be able to do it or something like that. I think I just did it for the first time ever. Uh, because I almost never block, but one of the things I'm trying to do is block more because I've found that when the enemies attack, 
the, the normal robots, they tend to attack in flurries of like three at a time, three attacks in a row. And I've tried to dodge out of the way of that and it doesn't tend to work so well. So I'm thinking I should try probably blocking more than dodging in those cases. And so with that, I'm testing out that special attack again. And I think it did work, but I, I think it's not like every single time you block an attack, it works. It's I think it started glowing and then it worked after I took a certain amount of hits. Maybe it's after the whole chain of three attacks finishes or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I think it just happened. So I got to pay more attention to that. Alright, so these definitely look explosive here. <laughs> yeah, I think they're probably explosive. Wonder why they have those around town, seems kind of dangerous. There's nothing to snap out of, monkey. Oh, Jesus. get up there. Is there any way from here or... Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, yeah. So this is probably mostly just like a melee way to get to the enemies if you just happen to not have the ammo to shoot them. So probably not going to be that much bonus points, but there's some... those rings. Yeah, there's some back there, but it's fine. I've got enough.
care of it. Dad? Dad? Rick, wherever you are, just keep your head down. I'm coming. Okay, that's all my explosive ammo. But there's a lot of ammo around here. Where's that coming from? Oh. Oh, that one actually didn't even have a shield. Oh, crap. Okay, I need some explosive ammo. Wasted a shot. Oh, hello. That's a new one. What the oh. hell is that? Oh, that's not a... that's not a boss. I'm coming. Are we good? Okay, I think we're good. as much ammo as possible. Yeah, I think this is the first time that the staff has come, like, come in super handy. It, it seems like it's almost needed in this section, just because of all the ranged enemies shooting at you from up above. So now I'm starting to think maybe I should upgrade it a bit. came back 
destroyed everything. Just like you said. Is there somewhere survivors could have retreated to? There are not gonna be any survivors. We don't know that. The war room, maybe? Okay. Okay. Show me. Security door is still intact. Dad. You're right. There must be survivors. The door can only be locked from the inside. Okay, so how do we get it open? Come on, follow me. If we remove the restrictors on the wind turbines, it will create a power surge. The electronic locks in the main hall will overload, shut down, be forced to reboot. While they're rebooting, I'll override them. Yeah, yeah, but will, will that work? Yes. Follow me. We need to get the power up to about 1,500 kilowatts. I hope the generators weren't damaged in the attack. Yes. Yes, they're okay. This is gonna work. So colorful. The big windmill. That's where we're going. The gates are protected by an electric current. You'll fry if you touch them. We need to find another way. We could cross the bridge underneath. So, did they not set up some sort of a communication system for the war room? I mean, it seems like it'd be easier just to call him and say, like, Hey, Dad, survivors, it's me, Trip. could you open the door? But, I guess there's nothing. <laughs> so we gotta create a power surge and hack the system. Oh well, gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, and yes, we can upgrade now and we have almost 200,000 points. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna save that and this place for the next episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.